Welcome to today's video. Today we're diving into something so simple, yet incredibly powerful. Walking. It's something we all do. But what if I told you that by slightly adjusting how and how much you walk, you could significantly improve your health, boost your energy, reduce stress, and even burn more calories? You're watching Dr. John Harrison, and in this video, we'll explore what science says about walking, how to do it properly, and how to make the most of every step. Meet Joanna Hall, an MSc in sports science, an author, and the brilliant founder of the Walk Active Method. Joanna has made it her mission to teach adults how to walk in a way that supports long-term joint health, improves posture, and enhances overall fitness. According to her, most people just walk the way they randomly learned as kids. But with the Walk Active Method, you retrain your body to walk in a way that's biomechanically correct and efficient. So today, let's learn how to walk smarter, not harder. We'll explore how many steps you should aim for, what pace is ideal, how much time you really need each day, and the powerful health benefits you can gain just by putting one foot in front of the other. But first, let's talk about walking technique. This is something most people overlook. According to Joanna, proper walking starts with posture. Keep your lower back and hips straight. Don't slouch. Your elbows should stay bent at a 90-degree angle, swinging naturally by your sides. As you take a step, let your heels strike the ground first, then roll through to the ball of your foot. And don't forget to push off with your back foot. This gives your stride more power and keeps your muscles engaged. These small adjustments can make a big difference, not only in comfort, but also in efficiency and results. Now, when we talk about walking for health, there's one number that always comes up. 10,000 steps a day. But where did that number come from? Well, it started as part of a marketing campaign in Japan in the 1960s, not a scientific study. Still, it's stuck, and for good reason. It's an easy target to remember, and studies have since shown that walking anywhere between 6,000 to 10,000 steps a day can significantly reduce your risk of chronic diseases, improve cardiovascular health, and boost longevity. In fact, a 2023 study revealed that walking just 8,000 steps per day can lower your risk of premature death and serious illnesses. A meta-analysis in The Lancet showed that adults under 60 benefit most from 8,000 steps, while those over 60 see great results with just 6,000 steps per day. Now, you may wonder, how long does it actually take to walk 10,000 steps? It depends on your pace, stride length, and overall fitness. A 2020 review in the Journal of Sustainability found that healthy older adults walk at around 100 steps per minute, meaning 10,000 steps would take about 1 hour and 40 minutes. If you're walking briskly, say 130 steps per minute, you can hit that number in around 1 hour and 16 minutes. But you don't have to be a speedwalker. In fact, most experts suggest an average of 120 steps per minute, which balances effort with comfort. At this pace, you'll need about 1 hour and 23 minutes to reach 10,000 steps. Bonus, studies show that walking at this rhythm helps release dopamine, the feel-good chemical, reducing stress and making you feel happier overall. Now, you might be thinking, I don't have 90 minutes a day just to walk. And you're not alone. That's why experts now say that it's perfectly okay, and even better, to split up your walking throughout the day. Micro walks, even just four minutes at a time can improve both physical and mental well-being. By walking in short bursts, you're more likely to pick up the pace, cover more ground, burn more calories, and keep your energy up. Let's talk numbers. On average, walking 1,000 steps burns 30 to 40 calories. So if you hit 10,000 steps, you'll burn roughly 300 to 400 calories per day, depending on your weight, fitness level, terrain, and walking style. Want to increase your step count effortlessly? Try this. Break your day into four time zones, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Aim for 1,500 to 2,000 steps in each block. This makes the process feel more manageable than trying to walk all 10,000 steps in one go. Here are a few simple, practical ideas. Choose three key locations you visit regularly, like your office, a local store, or your child's school. Plan short walking routes around each. Make a fun pact with a friend. Instead of texting or calling, only talk while walking. 
Evaluate how much time you spend sitting in traffic or on public transport. Many people avoid walking if they think it'll take more than 12 minutes. But in rush hour, walking can actually be quicker and far less stressful. And remember, walking doesn't just improve your health. It's eco-friendly, it saves money, and it boosts your mood. So, whether you're aiming for 6,000, 8,000, or 10,000 steps a day, what matters most is consistency and mindful walking. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from this channel. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep walking, stay healthy, and goodbye.